What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul and welcome back to another Top 10 video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about Call of Duty Zombies. Number 10, in World of Wars files for Shinonuma, it is possible to find additional models for the four perk machines found on the map. They were all covered in moss and rust and are generally decrepit looking. It is likely that these were used in an early version of Shinonuma but were cut in favor of the cleaner perk machines. Number 9. It's possible that an early name for the mystery box was the treasure box, as evidenced by the name of a model for the box found in World of War called MTL underscore treasure underscore chest. It's also referred to as a treasure box on one of the tips that appears on the loading screen. Number 8. On the side of the thunder gun is text that reads, that text is Russian and, when translated, says CAUTION. Number 7. In the Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies mobile game, the map Kino Der Toten appears simply as Kino, and all swastikas have been removed in favor of the German Eagle logo. Speaking of Kino Der Toten, several posters can be found around the map saying Faust and featuring a demon. This is a reference to the 1926 German horror movie Faust ein Dausch Volksage. In the film, the demon Mephisto makes a bet with an archangel that he can corrupt the soul of a righteous man. If he succeeds, he will claim dominion over Earth. Number 6. In the Black Ops Zombies map Shangri-La, four teleporter boxes can be found beneath the map. It's not clear if these were just leftover fragments from a previous map, or if teleportation was planned to be in the map at some point. Number 5. In the Nintendo DS version of Black Ops, there is no specific Hellhound round in any of the zombie maps. Hellhounds can appear from round 5 and have an increasing likelihood of appearing each round. These Hellhounds only spawn coming from the barricades like zombies and will knock down the barricades by jumping on them. Number 4. This doesn't necessarily have to do with zombies, but the teddy bear appears in many Call of Duty games and is prominently seen whenever the mystery box moves. In Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer games to feature the teddy bear, the bear is mostly clean and has no blood stains, while all Treyarch games post World of War are dirty and the bear does have blood stains on it. Number 3. In the zombies map Verrucht, on the end of the balcony that the player sees when they first come up the stairs on the American side, there is a poster that says, when translated from German to English, it says, unattended children will be immediately sold to the circus. Number 2. In the Pack-a-Punch room on the map 5, there is a book entitled Exposed. On the back of the book is a picture of something that resembles a gorilla that is turned into a zombie. Next to it is a picture of a gorilla that says, Man sent the first primate into space, and it returned. The back of the book is only visible using no clip to get outside the map, and is a reference to the Cosmic Silverback from Dead Ops Arcade. Number 1. Darius is based on a real-life German research facility, which was operational between 1943 and 1945 in Poland. The facility itself consisted of seven underground structures. Multiple sources say that at least 13,000 prisoners worked in the facility, most of them coming from Auschwitz. The purpose of the facility is largely unknown, though it's thought that it was a possible headquarters for Adolf Hitler and or a series of underground factories. The facility was never completed as the war ended relatively soon after work on it began. Alright, that's going to do it for this top 10 video about Call of Duty Zombies. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.